an invitation to stillness. The power of silence in a chaotic world. The ancient strategist Sun Tzu once said, in the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. This profound statement perfectly captures the essence of Stoicism, a philosophy we will explore together today. Imagine standing firm and unwavering even as the world spins around you. That's the core of Stoicism, finding your center of calm and inner strength. Today, we embark on a journey to discover the art of silence, a quality often overlooked yet immensely powerful. Silence is more than just the absence of noise. It's about cultivating a deep sense of inner peace, a quiet strength that speaks volumes without needing words. In our loud and relentless world, mastering the art of silence can be your greatest asset. It has the power to transform chaos into clarity and noise into something meaningful. We will uncover how the Stoics used silence, not as an empty void, but as a strategic tool, a path to wisdom and resilience. So, if you feel overwhelmed by the constant noise of life, if you seek a haven of tranquility, or if you're simply curious about the power of less is more, you've come to the right place. Let's unveil the secrets of Stoicism together, discovering how silence can elevate your life by offering peace amidst turmoil and clarity amidst confusion. Join me as we embrace the Stoic way, finding strength in stillness and power in pausing. If you're ready to transform your life with the wisdom of Stoicism, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned throughout the entire video to unearth the full potential of silence and its impact on your inner strength and clarity. Instead of simply managing external noise, we should navigate the world of distractions with intention and careful judgment, much like a wise and composed individual. While quieting external disturbances is important, it's equally crucial to silence the inner chatter. The doubts, anxieties, and endless what-ifs that cloud our thinking and serenity. Stoicism equips us with tools for this as well, prompting us to focus on the aspects we can control and relinquish those beyond our influence. This inner peace, free from distractions, is the fertile ground where true wisdom blossoms. Furthermore, minimizing distractions benefits not only ourselves, but also strengthens our relationships, work, and creativity. It allows us to be more present, attentive, and engaged with the world around us. This complete engagement with the present moment is a gift, one that empowers us to live richer and more meaningful lives. Therefore, I urge you to adopt this stoic practice. Begin by dedicating a short period of your day to silence and reflection, free from the outer of the digital world. Observe the positive impact it has, how it transforms your interactions, thoughts, and choices. This is the path to a life characterized by greater focus, serenity, and stoicism. Have you ever noticed how a well-timed pause in a conversation can heighten everyone's attentiveness? It's akin to a pause in a symphony, the space between the notes that allows the music to resonate more profoundly. This is the power of silence, a concept highly valued in stoicism because it embodies the virtue of self-control and deliberate action, or in this case, deliberate in action. When we choose silence, particularly in moments where a torrent of words is expected, we cultivate a presence that is both intriguing and commanding. Consider a heated debate or a bustling meeting room. When someone opts not to speak but listens intently, their silence speaks volumes. It creates a magnetic pull, drawing in the attention and curiosity of others. They wonder what this person is thinking and why they are silent. This air of mystery can subtly grant you control and influence within any interaction. Let's delve deeper into the core of this stoic concept. Stoicism teaches us to prioritize quality over quantity, substance over superficiality. By applying this principle to our communication, we recognize that our words should be meaningful and carefully chosen, not carelessly dispersed. When we do speak, our words carry more weight because they stem from thoughtful consideration, not impulsive reactions. Additionally, silence encourages others to project their thoughts and feelings onto it, fostering a space for greater understanding and empathy. In silence, we provide others the opportunity to express themselves, and by doing so, we gain insights into their perspectives and motivations. 
This can be incredibly powerful in both personal relationships and professional settings, and even in our internal dialogue. Embracing silence doesn't render us passive observers of our own lives. On the contrary, it's an active and deliberate choice. It's about discerning when to speak and when to let silence speak for itself. This discernment is a fundamental Stoic virtue, reflecting a profound understanding of the rhythm of human interaction and the significance of each word we choose to share or withhold. In practical terms, cultivating the ability to harness silence can enrich our lives in countless ways. It can de-escalate conflicts, nurture deeper connections, and even enhance our mental well-being by providing moments of much-needed rest. It's a tool, a skill that we can develop and refine over time. Living a considered life in a chaotic world. The power of silence. In our fast-paced world, where business and noise are often seen as synonymous with success and productivity, embracing stillness might seem counterintuitive. Yet, it's within these quiet moments that we discover the true wellsprings of our strength, a concept deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of self-examination and inner peace, qualities that flourish in silence. By stepping away from the external world Stuan Shou, Zhuan Shou, clamor, we gain a clearer understanding of our own thoughts. Silence as a sanctuary for mental fortitude. Silence offers us a refuge, a place where our minds can rest and develop without being distracted or diluted by constant noise. Think of silence as a form of mental exercise, similar to how a weightlifter strengthens their muscles. Just as they use weights, Stoics use silence to fortify their minds. In this tranquility, we practice resilience, learning to be comfortable with ourselves, to confront our inner turmoil without flinching, and to emerge more centered and grounded. It's in these moments of solitude that we build the mental toughness to face life's challenges, clarity and purpose through stillness. Furthermore, silence fosters clarity. It allows us to sort through our priorities, to differentiate between what's truly important and what's merely background noise. This clarity is a form of strength, providing us with the insight to act deliberately, with purpose and intention. Our decisions become more well-considered, our actions more meaningful, and our lives more aligned with our core values. Discovering ourselves through quiet reflection. But let's explore this concept further. Silence isn't just about physical solitude or inactivity. It's an active engagement with our inner selves. It's about listening to our thoughts, feelings, and intuition. In these silent dialogues, we uncover truths about ourselves, learning what truly matters to us, what motivates us, and where our convictions lie. This self-awareness is a powerful form of strength, equipping us with the confidence to make choices that are right for us, regardless of external pressures or expectations. The ripple effect of inner strength. And here's something intriguing. The strength we build in silence doesn't just benefit us. It radiates outward, influencing our relationships and interactions with others. When we are centered and clear, we bring a sense of calmness and assurance to our dealings with others. Our words carry more weight because they stem from a place of deep reflection. Our presence becomes more impactful, marked by the serenity and purpose that Stoicism promotes. Freedom from ego, embracing humility. In the pursuit of Stoicism, we strive for an understanding that despite our achievements or social standing, we are all part of the vast tapestry of existence, interconnected and interdependent. This realization is liberating. It frees us from the shackles of ego, allowing us to experience life more fully and to connect with others more authentically. But what does it mean to be free from pride or arrogance? It doesn't mean undervaluing ourselves or denying our worth. Rather, it's about acknowledging our strengths and limitations with equal clarity and composure. It's understanding that our accomplishments don't make us superior to others, and that our failures don't define us. This stoic principle encourages us to navigate life with a sense of equanimity, to treat successes and setbacks with the same calm detachment. It discourages us from bragging about our achievements, but rather to let our actions speak for themselves. 
When we do this, we cultivate a sense of inner peace because our self-worth is no longer dependent on external validation or comparison. Furthermore, when we embrace humility, we open ourselves to learning and growth. We become better listeners, more empathetic friends, and more compassionate members of our community. We acknowledge that everyone has something to teach us, and we approach each interaction with a willingness to learn. In practice, freeing ourselves from pride or arrogance involves regular self-reflection, a cornerstone of Stoicism. We examine our motivations, question our assumptions, and strive to align our actions with our deeper values. We remind ourselves of our shared humanity, recognizing that like everyone else, we are imperfect, finite, and fallible. Embracing this stoic virtue also strengthens our relationships by letting go of the need to always be right. The Power of Strategic Silence in Negotiations While we might be tempted to speak expansively to project an air of superiority, creating space for authentic connections is far more effective. This involves actively listening, responding with careful thought, and engaging in a way that fosters meaning. Our approachability, relatability, and ultimately, appreciation by others all increase. In any negotiation, the words we choose are undeniably critical. However, the moments we select to remain silent hold equal importance. This strategic use of silence can cultivate an atmosphere of calmness and control, often leading the other party to divulge more than they initially planned. It becomes a moment that prompts reflection, not just for ourselves, but also for those we're interacting with, propelling the negotiation into deeper realms of strategic thinking. From a stoic viewpoint, silence in negotiations isn't about manipulation or maneuvering. It's about harnessing our inner peace, granting ourselves the time to respond with wisdom rather than impulsive reactions. When we pause, we're not simply buying time. We're asserting control over the situation and grounding ourselves in the present moment. Beyond tactical advantage, the benefits of silence extend beyond mere tactical advantage. It reflects a respect for the weight and potential impact of the words yet to be spoken. By pausing, we communicate to our counterparts that we are thoughtful and deliberate, qualities that command respect and attention in any circumstance. Furthermore, this practice of intentional silence aligns perfectly with the stoic emphasis on listening, a skill just as crucial in negotiations as eloquence or persuasion. When we listen attentively, we gain valuable insights into the other party's needs, anxieties, and desires. This understanding empowers us to find mutually beneficial solutions that respect the interests of all involved. Cultivating the Power of Silence How can we develop this powerful tool of silence? It begins with self-awareness, another cornerstone of Stoicism. By understanding our own tendencies, triggers, and ingrained habits, we can better manage our urge to speak impulsively. Additionally, confidence is necessary, a belief in the value of our perspective, and the strength to let it stand on its own merit, uncluttered by unnecessary words. In practice, silence in negotiations can manifest in various ways. It can be a pause after a significant statement, allowing its implications to fully resonate, it can be a quiet moment to regroup when discussions become heated or intricate, or it can be a space we create for others to fill, providing them the opportunity to disclose information, ponder options, or concede a point. Kindness and Consideration The Stoic Approach The Stoics believed in the interconnectedness of all people, the idea that we are all part of the same human family. By exhibiting kindness and consideration, we're not simply acting benevolently. We're acknowledging and respecting this profound connection. Kindness, in the stoic sense, doesn't involve grand gestures or seeking recognition. It's about the small, everyday acts of empathy, the moments when we choose patience over frustration, understanding over judgment. It's about carefully considering the impact of our words and actions on others, choosing to uplift rather than undermine, to support rather than criticize. Consideration, on the other hand, takes this a step further. It's about actively putting ourselves in the other person's shoes, striving to understand their perspective, struggles, and aspirations. 
When we interact with others from a place of genuine consideration, we create space for meaningful connections, fostering mutual respect and trust. But why is this so important? The power of kindness and consideration, cultivating harmony within and around us, practicing kindness and consideration isn't just about making others feel good. It's a journey of self-discovery and inner peace. Similar to the philosophy of Stoicism, our well-being is deeply connected to how we treat others. By choosing kindness, we not only act with virtue but also promote a sense of balance and tranquility both within ourselves and in the world around us. This thoughtful approach has a domino effect, inspiring others to embrace similar acts of compassion, ultimately fostering a more understanding and supportive community. Imagine the transformative power if everyone incorporated a little more kindness and consideration into their daily interactions. The collective impact could be monumental. So how can we integrate these principles into our everyday lives? The foundation lies in mindfulness. We need to be aware of our interactions and the opportunities to demonstrate kindness and consideration. This means taking a pause before reacting, choosing responses that reflect positive qualities like wisdom, fairness, courage, and balance. In our fast-paced world filled with distractions and constant chatter, the art of deep listening becomes a rare gem, yet it aligns perfectly with stoic values that emphasize understanding, empathy, and the pursuit of knowledge. Deep listening goes beyond simply hearing the words spoken. It's about grasping the core message, the emotions, and the intentions behind those words. It's about listening not just to reply, but to truly understand. Through this understanding, we discover a deep connection to the stoic ideals of empathy and reason. By actively listening, we show others the respect and attention they deserve, acknowledging their inherent value as human beings. This is the embodiment of stoic compassion, recognizing that everyone, just like us, has their own struggles, perspectives, and stories that deserve to be heard and understood. The benefits of deep listening extend far beyond fostering empathy and respect. It opens us up to new ideas and viewpoints, making us better learners, problem solvers, and friends. We gain the ability to absorb and process more information, which in turn guides our actions and decisions towards those stoic virtues of wisdom and moderation. So, how can we cultivate this art of deep listening? Firstly, it starts with intention. Approach every conversation with the mindset that you have something to learn. This shifts the focus from your own desire to speak to a genuine curiosity about the other person's perspective. Secondly, practice being present in the moment. In our world of constant notifications and multitasking, giving someone your full, undivided attention is a powerful gift. Put away your phone, silence distractions, and engage fully with the person in front of you. Remember, listening involves not just the ears, but also the eyes, body, and mind. Use your entire being to show that you are truly present and genuinely interested. Deep listening also requires patience and self-control, two stoic virtues that help us resist the urge to interrupt, judge, or formulate our responses while the other person is still speaking. It's about creating space for their words, allowing them to express themselves fully before we respond. Finally, after listening, take a moment to reflect on what you've heard. Allow yourself to process the information and gain a deeper understanding of the speaker's message. Contemplate the hidden message behind emotions and their deeper significance. This act of contemplation not only strengthens your comprehension, but also empowers you to respond with thoughtfulness and empathy embodying the stoic principle of balanced and well-considered actions. This concept transcends the mere accumulation of knowledge or having quick solutions. It's about nurturing a profound and insightful understanding of our experiences, our guiding principles, and the world around us. Reflective wisdom is a fundamental block of stoicism, enabling us to live purposefully, make well-considered choices, and develop towards our ideal selves. Reflective wisdom begins with introspection. It's a practice that requires us to take a moment, to delve inwards, and to scrutinize our thoughts, actions, and reactions. This isn't always straightforward. 
It necessitates honesty, vulnerability, and a willingness to face unsettling truths. However, this process is essential. It aids us in comprehending our motivations, recognizing our biases, and crystallizing our values. In essence, it allows us to gain a deeper understanding of ourselves. But reflective wisdom isn't a solitary pursuit. Stoicism teaches us that our lives are intertwined with others and the world at large. Therefore, our contemplation must also consider our connections, our place in society, and our impact on the world. How do our actions align with the greater good? Are we contributing to harmony or discord? This broader perspective ensures that our wisdom isn't just self-serving but serves a higher purpose for the community. Now let's explore the application of this wisdom. Reflective wisdom isn't merely theoretical. It's incredibly practical. It informs our choices, guides our actions, and shapes our interactions. When we act from a place of reflective wisdom, our decisions are more thoughtful, our actions more deliberate, and our words more measured. We become more resilient in the face of hardship, more composed under pressure, and more adaptable to change. These are the hallmarks of a stoic, someone who navigates life's challenges with grace and composure. But how can we cultivate this reflective wisdom? It begins with creating space for regular reflection. This could involve a daily review of your actions and decisions, keeping a journal, or engaging in meaningful discussions with others. It's about asking challenging questions and being receptive to wherever the answers may lead. It's about learning from the past, being present in the moment, and considering the future. Another key aspect is embracing the student's mindset. Life is our greatest teacher, and every experience, whether joyful, painful, or ordinary, has something to teach us. By adopting an attitude of curiosity and openness, we can extract valuable lessons from all aspects of our lives, progressing in understanding, wisdom, and resilience. Resilience isn't about avoiding pain or denying our struggles. Instead, it's about confronting adversity head-on, learning from it, and emerging stronger and wiser on the other side. Stoicism teaches us that while we can't control everything that happens to us, we can control how we respond. This response, rooted in clarity, reason, and virtue, is what forges true resilience. But how do we cultivate this resilience? First, it begins with acceptance. Stoicism encourages us to accept reality for what it is, not as we wish it to be. This means acknowledging our challenges without judgment or self-pity. When we face our challenges with acceptance, we conserve our energy for what truly matters, our response and growth. Next, we draw on the power of perspective. The Stoics believe that our interpretations of events cause more distress than the events themselves. By adopting a more objective perspective, we can lessen the negative impact of challenging situations. This revised passage uses synonyms and rephrased sentences to convey the same message without repeating the original wording. Reframing with fresh language. Resilience and adversity. Instead of dwelling solely on the negative events life throws our way, we can cultivate resilience by viewing hardships as chapters within a grander story. This perspective, while not minimizing the pain we experience, provides a framework that fosters our ability to bounce back. Now let's delve into the significance of community in building resilience. While Stoicism emphasizes personal strength and inner fortitude, it also acknowledges the importance of our interconnectedness. Let's embrace the quiet strength found in connection. We don't flourish and overcome in solitude, but rather alongside others, sharing our struggles, offering support, and gleaning wisdom from those who have navigated similar challenges. These connections solidify our resilience and serve as a constant reminder that we are not alone on this path. Furthermore, resilience flourishes with practice, much like a muscle that strengthens with use. Our capacity to bounce back grows as we confront and navigate challenges. Each obstacle, then, becomes an opportunity to put our stoic principles into action, to act with bravery, stay composed, and make choices aligned with our core values. Resilience is all about uncovering our inner strength and leveraging it to face life's inevitable hurdles. It's about harnessing adversity as a catalyst for growth, 
transformation, and a deeper comprehension of our virtues and values. Most importantly, it's about moving forward, armed with the wisdom and perseverance we've acquired through our experiences. As we wrap up today's exploration into the profound teachings of Stoic philosophy, take heart in knowing that the strength you seek already resides within you, waiting to be unleashed through the power of self-reflection. With resilience and newfound wisdom, thank you for joining me on this path of discovery and growth. You are not merely viewers. You are an integral part of the Stoic Journal community, united in our pursuit of understanding and virtue. But let your exploration not end here. Delve deeper by clicking on one of the suggested videos to extend your journey into Stoicism, enriching your knowledge and fortifying your spirit. Together, we are not merely learning, we are transforming.